Hi and welcome back. This is Marcus from InfoSec Governance. This is the second video in a series of talking about LAPS, the Microsoft password solution. This one, this video is going to be discussing just deploying the LAPS uh, agent to endpoint systems. So you can push it out and then configure the machines. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off on our domain controller that we have. We're going to go to group policy management. And then what we're going to do is actually create a new group policy. So we're just going to call this deploy LAPS and then just edit it. And then we're gonna go into computer configuration, policies, software settings, software installation, and then just right click, go to new, package, and then you find where you've downloaded laps. I've got a, sh a shared file, um, share, a <laughs> shared share, on our domain controller called software. Uh, so you just select laps, click on open, and then just select the defaults. And there you can see it's local administrator password solution, it's been assigned and it's going from there. So all you need to do now is pretty much just go through onto your Windows machine, which we can go here, which is our Windows 10 machine. And then I'm just gonna say CMD. And you can either wait for the time for the group policy to take effect, or you can just push it by going GP update slash force. Hopefully force. And it's just going to update the policy, pull all the latest settings from the domain controller down. And there you see, it's, it's actually pulled some new uh, systems um, information down. So we're just going to say yes to restart. That'll take a second just to reboot. Okay, so we can see here, it's just uh, restarted. So what we'll do is we'll go into here and we'll just go to add remove programs and just verify that it has actually been installed. And there we can see the local administrator password solution has been deployed. So what that allows you to do is pretty much push this solution out to every machine on the environment and then you can actually configure and monitor all the machines. So what we could do is going back to the server is actually just have a look, go to the LAPS UI and then you could say, just do a search for the machine. In this case, we will just call the Windows 10. And you can see there, at the moment, it's just using the default password that was created. So we could go in there and just set it up and create a password, change expiry times and everything else and do that. So I hope this helps. Um, we're going to be doing another video shortly with just how to configure the security on the group policy. Just lock it down a little bit so not everyone's got access to the passwords. I uh, hope this has been a good video for you. Uh, give us a like if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you want a bit more videos. If you want anything else uh, relating in this series, feel free to put it in the comments and we'll push it out and um, yeah, make a, a good video from there. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.